This right here is the Frontier X2 chest strap heart monitor. This is a tiny ECG machine. So all the tech and magic crammed into this tiny little heart monitor. Now, I've been trawling the web for ages today to try and find a heart monitor that offers what this does. And obviously the, the big attraction for me is the built-in ECG. So ECG is electrocardiogram, which measures the electrical activity of the heart. And it can be used to detect you know, heart abnormalities. Now there are other heart monitors on the market. For instance, the Apple Watch that you wear on your wrist. They do record parts of an ECG, but with this, it's a continuous recording ECG of your heart. So through your entire workout or whatever you're trying to do, it will capture every single heartbeat. And also what's great about this is this obviously is marketed as a fitness band. So you can keep fit and you can monitor your heart health at the same time. So you do get a couple of straps in the pack and this is the black strap. Got a couple of connectors there. You just clip this on. There you go. Easy, really easy. Now, what you do need to bear in mind, when you do put it on your chest, you do have to have the blue button facing down, okay? And then if you see these, these rubber bits of material there, the rubber straps, you wet them with a bit of water, apply it to your chest. That gives a more better and accurate reading. And you just wear it just under your, just under your boobs, like that. Button's facing down and you can go away and start your workout. So if you're in a rush and once you've got your chest strap on, all you need to do is press the blue button twice and it will automatically start an activity for you. Now that activity will be whatever you used last. So if you was walking, it would use that or running or whatever. And then to stop it, you just press it twice again. So I think that's been a minute or so. And then that will sync to the application. You can log in and you can log in on the browser as well, which I'm gonna to switch to in a moment just to show you everything what gets measured, all the metrics and stuff. So this is the fourth Frontier dashboard. This is where all of your historical workouts will go and you can easily check on these. So if we go to the one I recorded earlier, it was only one minute, 41 seconds. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is a very short, basic workout. And on the left here, you have average, maximum and minimum. You can fly through those. And we have your heart rate, breathing rate, all your health metrics here, the fitness side. But then obviously you've got, you know, the safety side. You want to make sure you're safe when you're working out. So you've got the heart strain reading there, your heart rate variability as well, which you might want to you know, set alerts for, which you can within the app. So we have heart rate here. We have heart strain, heart rate variability, breathe rate, body shock, and step cadence. And on the right hand side here, you have heart rate zones. So you know exactly how long you stay in each zone for your heart rate. Now let me go back to an older one. I think there's one last week when I did a lot of walking in Las Vegas. Here we go. This is 36 minutes worth of it. There we go. So average for 36 minutes was 131 uh, beats per minute. Uh, heart strain, pretty much minimum. And heart rate variability, three. Uh, breathing rate, 32. Uh, maximum heart rate was 142, minimum was 112 with a breathing rate of 22. All this data in front of your eyes. And if you come down to here to heart rate, you could drag this little black dot across and look, as you're flicking through the time, the ECG is changing there at the top, showing your heartbeat. So throughout that whole exercise, workout, whatever you did, you can come back here and you can monitor every single heartbeat there which is quite reassuring really and then you have heart strain as well here so it does exactly the same thing look you're scrolling through your heart strain that's all stayed in blue and the same with um heart rate variability as well it does exactly the same thing scanning through the ecg at the top and then the heart rate zone on this one 31 minutes was spent in zone three what i also like as well it gives you sort of insights as well it says great effort you push yourself and hit zone three for 85 percent of your workout training in this zone will help a faster pace and longer circuit feel easier in the long run these little insights can actually give you that little bit of extra push uh, and that determination to you know go on to the next one and stuff like that so uh, this data here is absolutely invaluable this is sort of a more of a condensed view of what i just showed you earlier 
So this was my 41 second workout um, rhythm score 100%. Sometimes I do suffer with palpitations, so that might come up in uh, as in other rhythm. Or if you do move your, your heart monitor slightly, or if you're moving like that and it comes away, it can have some effect on that as well. But as you can see here, look, the heart rate zones, which I showed you earlier, and the health metrics, the average health metrics there. Just more of a, more of a condensed version. You can, you, and you can click view ECG. And again, more of a squashed view, but you can have pretty good view from here as well. Now let me show you the more in-depth one, my walk last week with 36 minutes. You see here, look, 99.1% normal rhythm. Okay, we can click that. It tells you, breaks it down here a little bit. Normal rhythm, other rhythm, and noisy signal. But what Fourth Frontier also mentioned here, please note that heart rhythm does not capture all aspects of cardiac function. Furthermore, the heart rhythm markings are not sufficient to make any clinical assessment and are not intended to be used for diagnostic or treatment purposes. Okay, so it's not to diagnose yourself with this when you're looking at that, but if you do have concerns and there are some sort of a regular heartbeat or rhythm you're noticing, then you can use this and then take it to your, to your GP or your healthcare professional. Now this is much more squash because this is obviously a longer, a longer workout or a walk. And you can still click on here on these uh, on these lines and it will then it'll change accordingly at the top there. You can see the ECG certain parts. So that's all good, but I do prefer looking on the PC, the big screen. You can see a lot more. And if you click activity here, this is where you can edit your alerts. So you can change these alerts so you can edit them. Heart strain. So if you are worried about putting too much strain on your heart, you can set these metrics here. Look. Zero, zero. I mean, the ones I've been doing, my sort of heart rate or heart strain has been hitting like zero, zero point one or zero, zero point two. But you can set that any metric or whatever. You can have an upper limit or a lower limit as well. And then this will buzz on your chest. So, hey, hold on a minute. And then the single buzz, breathing rate, heart rate, whatever. You can set a single buzz and a double buzz as well. So breathing rate up to zero to 60 breaths per minute, lower limit and upper limit. And you can just save the alert and you're good to go. But my most favorite thing on here, ECG, start ECG streaming. This is just amazing. I'm gonna st stick that there. The live ECG. So it gives you your heart rate as well as your 85. And then you can share this link, like I said, to anyone in the world and they can just click on it. It'll open a browser on, on their PC or whatever, or the mobile device, and they can monitor your ECG with you as well. So the Frontier X2 helps you achieve your fitness goals while also staying safe. Now I do have a special coupon code where you can get 25% off and that is PAUL25, all capitals, and you get 25% off at checkout. I will include links to this in the description below, but if you do have any questions about this device, pop them in the comments, I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching. Use that coupon code PAUL25 and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.